Okay, so lately, obviously, there's a lot of people with this uh, whole thing going on with the stay at home, with people doing video conferences online. And there's a lot of really good free and open source uh, video uh, chat programs and video conferencing. When I say the difference, uh, they, video chat generally is one to one person, but a conference, sometimes you need a lot of people. And, you know, sometimes these programs overlap. Uh, one of the best ones out there uh, that's well known popular, I've used a bit, it's called Jitsi. Jitsi Meet, and you go to jitsi.org and it's very easy to set up. Now, here's the thing, it works great in the browser, a lot better than a lot of other ones I've tried, or the handful of other ones I've tried. It's fully functional in the browser. But, when you send someone the link uh, in uh, to a mobile device, stuff happens, and we're gonna talk about that right now. So, let's talk about this real quick. So, Jitsi is free. It's open source, you don't need to create an account, and you don't need to install anything because it runs great in the browser. But again, here I am on an Android device, an old Android device running Android uh, 5, uh, whatever the code name for Android 5 is. It's an old Samsung tablet, and I'm using the Brave browser here. And I click on the link, and it brings me to this, to download the app. And that's the only option you get other than calling a number and typing in a pin to join the conversation. I would never ask someone to install something on their device for me. Now, I might make suggestions if someone asks me, you know, what applications do you suggest? What programs do you suggest? I might make suggestions or even say, hey, you might want to try this. But I would never say, hey, install this so you can talk to me. That would just be rude. But that's one of the great things about Jitsi is you don't have to install it. But again, you come here on a mobile device and it's saying continue to the app. You have two options here, but they both lead to the same thing. Basically, to download and install the app. It's going to bring you to the, the App Store, the Play Store, wherever uh, OS you're on. But it's very, very simple. Uh, at least in a Chrome, Chromium browser, you know, or Brave browser, something based on that. And I'm sure I haven't tried this in Firefox, it should too, but your miles may vary in different browsers, but you click on your menu here and you click desktop site. And basically that's what that's saying is pretend this is a desktop computer. And you know what happens? Boop. You go right into the meeting. It's going to ask for permission to access your camera and your microphone. And it wants you to install a, an extension, which we're going to say no. And that's it. So there I am. So again, this is an old tablet. The camera's a little slow. And you're also watching this at a slow recording frame rate. Uh, but that's it. And again, that's on an old uh, tablet from 2014. I think this tablet's at least six years old, running an old version of Android. Uh, and uh, I've tested this out on other devices, like my kids' Amazon Fire tablets, which only cost me 30 bucks. So again, here we are on my son's Amazon Fire tablet that I bought him for Christmas a few months ago. Normally they're 50 bucks. I got it for 30 bucks when they were on sale. They are cheap. They are slow. They aren't the best tablets. They're a $30 tablet. They run great for 30 bucks. Same thing though. You go to a meeting and once you install the app, I click on this and I click desktop site and it's going to reload into the desktop site and uh, we'll see if it... Um, yeah, it's always asks you for that extension thing. We don't want that. We could probably check not to show again. And that's because I've done this with him before. Um, he didn't ask for permission on the camera and stuff because I've already given the website permission, which I can retract if I want. So it's going to be a little weird with me talking and delay between recording and going through the screen. So I'm just going to aim this at the ceiling. And I'm going to say your miles may vary depending on your web browser, depending on your OS. Uh, if you're, I don't I haven't tested this on iOS. Uh, and in something like Safari, it, uh, there's a good chance it won't work on something like that. Uh, but that's your, your device if it doesn't work, not necessarily the website. I have had uh, great results with this. That being said, the Jitsi website, or the Jitsi app is open source under an Apache license. Um, and uh, which isn't my favorite license. Obviously, the GPL is my favorite license, uh, but it's a decent license. And... Um, I'm not saying not to install the app. In certain cases, you may want to install an app, but if you're going to use Jitsi a lot, you probably want to install the app. But if someone just wants to conversate with you, 
just use this little trick. You don't need to install anything. That's it. That's all I wanted to show because uh, I've suggested to a number of people. They go to use that mobile device. And I will say some people will install anything. They'll see a commercial on TV and they'll install an app. You shouldn't be doing that. You should only install the bare minimum stuff you need. Your, computer, your tablet is like a computer and it does 99% of the things you need to do without installing anything. Occasionally you need to install something. Um, and in this case, in most cases, you don't need to. But some people will just install anything. And I want to give kudos to my sister because I sent her a link forgetting that she's probably, because I texted it to her, she's going to try to open up on her mobile, mobile device. Um, and she texted me back and said, I'd rather not install an app, which is awesome. I love her for that. So many people would just install it. Um, and I'm glad that she, she sent it back. And I said, I said to her, I said, hey, you know what? You know, uh, We'll chat tomorrow. You can use your laptop, but you can also force your browser. And that's one of the reasons I made this video so that she can see how you can force your browser to do this. Another drawback, one, one drawback that I've really seen about using this web interface on mobile devices is uh, the controls, the buttons here. You can see the hang up and the raise your hand and the chat. Tablet, it's fine. On a phone, it thinks you're on a desktop. And these buttons are very, very small. They function, but they're very, very small. Again, installing the actual app makes everything, it, it looks just like using it in the web browser. It's just, uh, you know, the buttons are, are, are bigger than they are on a mobile device. So thanks for watching. I hope people found this useful because I've had a number of people tell me they tried using Jitsi on a mobile device and it kept asking them to install the browser. It does, or install the app. It does. You don't have to. Try this trick. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. If it, if it doesn't work for you, let me know what device operating system and browser you're using so that other people can see that in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day.